Hi, good morning. Um, it's Laurel here, and um, I haven't been around for a little bit um, because my day job has been very consuming as of late. But um, I'm here this morning. Um, today is Friday the 17th. I um, have the day off, and I wanted to share with you a project that um, we worked on this past Sunday on my Ustream show. Um, I'd first like to give credit to um, Blue Moon Scrapbooking. Um, they had placed a video that reminded me of a technique um, that I in turn tried um, and that I wanted to share with you all because I think it's a lot of fun. You can get some really great effects. And, um, you know, I love my Lindy Stamp Gang products and um, I'm always looking for a way to, um, to use them. So basically, I'm going to show you what we created. Um, I have in my hand several of the backgrounds that we created, and then I'm going to explain to you how we did it. So this is um, a piece of cardstock that was uh, embossed using the Tim Holtz, um, I believe this one's called Retro Circles. And what I did is I took my embossing folder and I sprayed it with my Lindy Stamp Gang spray, inserted a piece of cardstock cut to fit, and ran it through my machine. And I'm going to come up close so hopefully you can see the effect. Um, I have a total of three colors on there. And you can see as it embosses the white shows through. So that was one that we did. Um, this is a little ATC size using one color of the spray and the new ATC size folder um, of the gears. It's a pretty cool effect. Here's the same one on a Rolodex card. And you do get the front and the back when you do this technique. This is another one. Um, this is the King of Clubs, and that's using one of the new colors in Lindy Stamp Gang. And I hope you can pick it up in the camera um, because there is a green tone that kind of comes through. And again, you do get the back. I haven't cut this one apart yet. This was um, a f actually a favorite. This is using a Paisley embossing folder that um, I believe is um, Cuddlebug. And two different colors of sprays. And I like how the white just popped right on through. This is using probably my favorite color of Wendy's spray and the collage embossing folder. Here's a fire whistle. And actually, this is my favorite color. This is a completed card. Um, all I have to do is add a sentiment, but this is using Golden Doubloons Starburst Spray and the Tim Holtz Postcard Embossing Folder. And then here's another completed card. We used three different shades of sprays and the sun rays embossing folder. So a whole bunch of different effects that you can come up with. So it's a very, very simple technique. What you're going to need to do is select the embossing folder that you want to use. And I would recommend that you, you know, pre-cut your cardstock. And very simply, you're going to take your Lindy sprays that you like and um, I have a couple colors here uh, from the new colors. This is fr Frolic in the Forest Black. It's the one that has the green undertone on the King uh, embossed piece that I showed you. And then this one is Tainted Love Teal, which is the same color that's on the Rolodex cards, this guy. Um, I like this color very, very much. So what you would do is you would spray 
And if you want to mix colors, you can just, I would recommend that you keep light colors together, spray them in different areas. I do the front and the back, and then you're going to very carefully place your, your piece of cardstock. And I use cheaper cardstock for this. I don't want something very heavy weight. And you're just going to close it up and you're going to run it through your machine. And depending on the colors that you choose, you can get an effect just like this. It's a lot of fun. Um, you can use them for ATC backgrounds. You can use them for, you know, Rolodex. I have, I'm currently hosting a Rolodex swap. Um, that I'm going to use this one as part of. Um, you know, the, the interpretations are endless. Um, so make sure you check out wendystaffing.com and check out some of the wonderful new colors that uh, Tracy has, has released recently. There's almost always a sale going on. Um, and let your imagination run wild in your creativity. Can really come up with some cool looking cards or a great background for a project. So thanks for watching everyone. Um, I hope you try this technique and I see you next time. Bye!